also borderline delirious from being sleep deprived. Um, so. <laughs> good morning so we are vlogging today it's been a hot minute since i've picked up the camera and vlog so we are vlogging today we're gonna do a pack and prep with me vlog i have a crap ton of stuff to do today like it's gonna be super packed it's my birthday i'm going on vacation it's about to be lit so first up we're gonna pack well actually i got some stuff from amazon that i need to open like some packages that i ordered so i can use those things to pack but let me show you i got a suitcase from amazon because we me and my husband my mother-in-law got us like a um a, a set like a suitcase set where it has like the like the bag that you would check the carry on and then like the little mini smaller bag um but so we only have one carry on so i needed a carry on for myself because we are doing carry ons for this trip no check bags i is it just me or do we hate checking the bag? Like, I cannot stand checking the bag. And you got to wait for it. Like, please. Then you run the risk of it getting lost. Like, I don't have time. So, I want to show you the luggage I got from Amazon. It was super cheap. It's so cute. Let me show you. Also, let me just preface all of this with saying this apartment is in shambles right now. Okay? Because the way my brain works, if I don't have everything where I can see it, I'm going to forget it. But let me show you the suitcase. Look at how cute this is. It's like a bone color. It's so cute. The only thing I wish is that like the hardware and everything was gold instead of silver, but it's so cute. So yeah, like if you need a quick little cheapy cheapy suitcase, this was like $40. Not bad at all. And I think it's a pretty good quality for the price. Like this is a little I've never had a suitcase like this, so I don't know like if this is standard but it feels hollow. I ain't gonna lie though, I was like, oh my gosh, this junk is so small. It's like regular carry-on size, but I was like, how am I supposed to fit all of my stuff in here? So that's another challenge that I'm gonna have, just trying to fit everything in this suitcase. Hmm. But let me show you the inside. It has like the 360 wheels and everything. I think I'm going to be able to do it. I have faith in myself. I'm really going to try to fit everything in here. Woo. I'm definitely using my packing cubes. I started using packing cubes like maybe two years ago or so. And they really are a game changer and definitely necessary. So I have my packing cubes here that I'm going to use. Oh, let, we might as well just talk about all of the stuff that I got from Amazon. Like while we're here, let's get into it. Because I also ordered like a travel um, jewelry case. It looks like this. It's so cute and small, but like when you open it up, this is what it's given for like your rings, other stuff. And then when you pull it down, you can put your necklaces here. And I just think this is gonna come in handy. Like, are you crazy? So I was like, yes, please come with me. Love this. And this was like $6, I wanna say. It might've even been cheaper like I think they might have had like a coupon that you could apply, but very, very handy this is going to be. And I will have this stuff linked below. Like I said, I got these Pac-Man Hues a couple of years ago, and I love them. They are beige or nude or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so I got these, and they come in handy. Um, But let me open up the packages. I got a lot of stuff from Amazon because like for me, like I told y'all, it is too so busy and hectic my days so i don't really be having time to like stop places that, and if i do i literally only have like a second like i can't the lines can't be long it can't be none of that i ordered this like black crochet bag to have like to take to the beach and the pool and stuff like that when i have bathing suits that have black in it because i really don't have like a black kind of beach bag and i don't really have enough space to take like too many things so i needed something that could really like fold up nice um but still kind of like fit the bill and look the part and this is just what she is given um down here is like you know more like tight so your stuff won't fall out but 
I think this is cute and it'll get the job done. Okay, I got like a smaller cuticle oil because um, in my pouch I always have like a cuticle oil but it's kind of thick and bulky and this one is like a pen so it's nice and sleek and it won't take up as, as much space. And then I got like this little kit. Yeah, I got this off Amazon. It looks like this. It literally just has like travel size, what's the name's in it. And I love that it has like labels, which is just like so handy. So yeah, I don't really have much time. I need to, I don't think I told you yet what we are doing today. So I need to pack as much as I can, like mainly my clothes and stuff. Um, and then I need to go to the gym and then I have a nail appointment and a pedicure appointment. And then I need to shoot to go see my grandmother because I have not seen my grandmother in like maybe two weeks, almost two weeks or so. Um, so I need to go see my grandmother. And then I have my wax appointments to get my Brazilian and my underarms. And then I need to come back home and finish packing. And I need to tint my brows. And I'm not going to do lash extensions because for real, for real, if I'm just telling you the truth, I don't really care about lashes and I like to wash my face without having to like worry about not wetting my lashes. I'm a very like sloppy face washer. So um, lashes don't really like work for me. I like to put them on and then take them off at the end of the night, just like my wigs. So um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do lashes and I sleep with an eye mask, like a thing over my eyes. So it's like, please. Um, so no lashes. I might like pop some on tomorrow before I leave for the day just so like, you know, I'm looking cute once we arrive because we will be arriving pretty early and our check-in time is not until four. So we'll be getting in pretty early and we'll be like exploring stuff on a resort and stuff. So don't know, but let's cut to the pack and B-roll. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? Okay, so I finished packing, kind of, sort of. I got to obviously, like, wait until tomorrow to finalize everything. Um, but I was not able to fit everything in this carry-on. Luckily, Rob is a light packer, so I'm able to fit, like, some of my stuff in his suitcase. And he is bringing a book bag. My personal item is my Marc Jacobs, like, mini tote bag. So I can't really fit much stuff in there. I did, like jam pack that junk though that's the heaviest that bag has ever been um and we about to really see like you know how the leather gonna endure um but yes yeah, so i'll finish packing we still have to like finish up the toiletries and that kind of thing that is also going to go in rob's um book bag so i'm about to head to the gym i'm actually like pushing it it's one o'clock right now i got a nail appointment at two i'm about to try to just go get some cardio in for like 20 25 minutes or whatever okay so i actually didn't go to the gym and i'm just having a super quick little snack slash lunch before i go to the nail salon because y'all know in my nail salon they serve drinks and i'm gonna have one because it's my birthday and i don't want to be drinking on an empty stomach so i'm just having some tuna with spicy mayo and like cajun seasonings and stuff wheat thins and a water Okay, so I made it, but let me just say, I got shades on now because I'm trying to be Hollywood or anything, but I look a raggedy hot mess and I'm so tired. I was up doing my hair last night. These are the same locks that I had did before um, that already come with the hair intertwined because um, they are just so lightweight and I plan on being in a lot of water and I don't want it to make it even more heavy, like if I had a heavier lock. So these literally are like super lightweight. Um, but I was like doing this all night also too like about this curly hair it's awful it's awful I'm probably gonna end up taking this curly hair like these pieces out 
in like two days because this curly hair is just atrocious but the lock itself is nice like in terms of longevity i mean with like the curly hair but i was up all night doing my hair i probably only slept for like a few hours because i wanted to get up and pack and all of that stuff because like i told you i got a lot of stuff to do today so i'm so tired and that's why i got shades on not because i'm trying to be hollywood but because i'm sleepy and my bags are insane i already got hereditary dark circle so me not getting sleep on top of that bad bad situation so yeah i'm just waiting on a beautiful lady to finish her food i was like please like don't rush finish your food i'm not gonna like I'm like you need like finish your food please um so yeah i need to like soak off and then start my pedicure <laughs> Okay, so I'm back home. I just got out the shower. It's 6 30. I need to hurry up and go, but I want to try to like get this done before I go. The um cavitation thing. Um, because I'm really trying to take it in early tonight, and I still gotta tint my brows and do like some last minute like packing things after my wax appointment. So I'm trying to like get this done. I literally need to leave out in 10 minutes, and so I'm just gonna do this. For 10 minutes this i got this off amazon it's a cavitation device and um i'm using this like ultrasound jelly with it i have it on the highest setting i'm gonna do well let's turn it on first <laughs> i have it on the highest setting five i'm gonna do sonic and infrared both at the same time footage from when i went to go get a wax because it's not really much i can record you can't like record them waxing you and then it's like i also don't want to i don't care what nobody tell you the girls love to say oh yeah easy after a while it doesn't it doesn't i've been getting waxed for a very long time it never feels like oh it's fine it's never fine but i'm back home and it's time to tint the brows i got this off amazon and i tried it already and i like it for a henna brow, like it lasted like three days and I have very oily skin. I use vitamin A every single night and I use a uh, um, acid, well, like, well, not acid. I use salicylic acid when I wash my face and um, I'm not like gentle when I wash my face or anything. So for it to last like three days is like a new record for me. Now I imagine if I was being more careful around my eyebrows and not just like basically washing the product off when i'm like washing my face because i literally just like i told you i'm a messy face washer that's why i don't really want to do lash extensions because i'm here with it okay my whole face drenching my face in water like this to rinse my whole face off that's what i do so um i imagine if i would not have been doing that it would have lasted even longer um i'm also borderline delirious from being sleep deprived um, so <laughs> I feel like I may be like talking crazy or slipping up on my words, but my tongue is heavy and so is my eyes right now. Okay. They come with these packets and you put the leftover that you didn't use inside of here to save it for the next use. And this is like your mixing bowl. You can't really see it that good, but you put the powder in there and then you're supposed to put like a couple of drops of water and then mix it until it's like a smooth paste like this. The product is on. I just use an angle brush to kind of like apply it on. Now I'm gonna let it sit. I need to go eat, I'm hungry. Um, so I'm about to let this sit while I eat and then I'll probably wop, <laughs> wipe and wash. <laughs> Wop, wop, wop. <laughs> wipe and wash it off when I'm done. I'm so tired. Okay, so this is enough of seeing me looking raggedy and homeless. 
Um, this is the end of this prep with me vlog. I will see you in the Bahamas, baby.